your next big moves. Tell me when to go. Uh, uh, I was in uh, I was in Atlanta. Um, I had just had a birthday and shit. I threw a party at Sweet Jimmy's when it was still Sweet Jimmy's. Uh, then we came. We went down with Atlanta. Forty was already in Atlanta. That he was calling. He was calling because he wanted to get me on the uh, the muscle car song, right? And uh, come to find out, he was in Atlanta and I was in Atlanta at the same time. He was thinking I was in the Bay. So when he found out I was in Atlanta, we met up at uh, Outcast Studio, at Fungonia Studio with Lil John, and uh, I jumped on the muscle car shit. You know, I wrote it, I wrote it hella fast, you know what I mean? Hit the hook and the verse. And, uh, Lil John started making the Tell Me When to Go beat, you know. And, uh, it first started off where he was just like, Yo, do I got a hook for it? And uh, me and Fame already was on some go shit. You know, nigga, go, nigga, go, nigga, that shit go, nigga, go. Tell me when to go, you know what I mean? And, uh, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't I wasn't even gonna do it at first. I was like, man, I'm getting forty too much, man. You know? But uh, my, my nigga convinced me, man, nigga do this shit, man, fuck that. So I did the hook. Um, tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Um, he sampled the run DMC, the dumb girl, the dumb, dumb, dumb from that. And uh I uh, seen the nigga Lil John slam the pen down like, this it, like nigga, this this is it, nigga. I don't know if they was already looking for a single or trying to come up with a single, but he was like, this it. And then he looked at me like, you got a verse? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I ended up doing a verse and a hook to that too. When I left, you know what I mean, it was just my, my verse and the hook on there, you know, on both songs. And I left 40, he was still writing shit. But uh, that's how to tell me when the ghost shit came about. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. All right, I, I, travel, I travel outside the Bay a lot. And um, to me, that song and video probably was like the, like probably like one of the number one most repre like re representations of the Bay. Yeah. Can you um, run through the video? Uh, yeah, we shot it in Oakland, shot it in the West and the East. We shot it in uh, We even was at the Youth Center, uh, Castle Mine, you know what I mean? In the 80s. Uh, <clears throat> uh, at the time, you know, the South had crunk and all that shit, you know, they had their thing going out there. And like I said, we had already that hypey shit. We, we had been, you know, but motherfuckers didn't catch on to 10 years later, you know what I mean? But uh, that's when we needed our own identity on what we was doing, man. And that's when, when it was, you know, that's when, okay, that's when they called it, they started calling it the hyphy movement, you know what I mean? Um, like you say, that was, um, it was time for us to represent. It was time for the world to see what we had going on, what we was doing, I was feeling like they already was, um, they already was biting, was running with what we was doing anyway, you know what I mean? And not really paying the homage they should have been paying just for, uh, you know, for all the slangs and all the the, the, sh the coins, the, the words and the phrases and the shit, you know what I mean, that come from where we from. So, um, Lil John seen that too. And he, he he wanted to capture some 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 Bay Area shit, some what we was doing, man, and uh, that's that's what we did with that song, man. Uh, at the time, we had Gloss Man Dre, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, it was uh, it was time for you know the camera only could show so much of uh, you know what I mean, and it was just enough for the world to see, you know, what was going on out here to, uh, you know, to shake the world up with what we got going on and what we had to offer the, uh, the music game, period. You know what I'm talking about? Um, it was just a great look, man. It was, you know, that was, um, 
that was uh, that was big, man. That's you go ahead and put that in the history books. Uh, 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 <coughs> a Bay Area, you know, what I'm talking about uh, music. Uh, you know, that's one of the biggest songs that you know that then represented for us and that then showed the world how we rock. You know, shit um, ever. You know what I'm talking about? If you ask me, you know, um, yeah, I'm 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 happy to be a part that I was a, a big influence and a part of that. You know what I'm talking about? 